Hello, it's Eric Techstuffs from the Eric Techstuffs channel. If you're new here, welcome. And if you are a repeat offender, welcome back. Uh, we're just going to talk a little bit more about the TID Radio H3. I planned another video, and this is it. I did get comments on my previous video. Now, this is the ham radio version. Now, if you are not a ham radio operator, that is not a problem at all. This is still kind of relevant to you and um, the other version, which is the GRMS version, and there'll be some interesting notes, maybe in this video or in another video, but uh, please stay tuned and we'll get into this radio. And uh, basically what we're gonna do is what the comments had on my first video about uh, seeing if it was clean or not. So what we're doing is just taking the uh, TID Radio H3, um, pumped in just uh, the US simplex frequency, run it through a uh, 40 dB attenuator. Um, it's big just because it's 100 watts. So, uh, And then we're running into the uh, tiny SA Ultra here. And we have it in harmonic mode. Um, so I've already uh, accounted for the attenuation and such. So we want to see if this is clean. So I have it set up here on the 14652. And uh, we're just going to see what what's going on here. And what we want to see is the spurious emissions under minus 16. So what I'm going to do, just show you um, that we are on right there, 520. And what we're going to do is let this go just for a minute. I'll zoom in just so you can see it a little bit better. Uh, there we go. Maybe that'll work a little bit if we can get it. And um, yeah, so what we're going to do is just key this up. It's going to take a minute to settle after it uh, sees the frequencies. All right, there's our 146. Everything else is floating right underneath the, uh, the 16. So that is good to see. So the harmonic situation, at least on two meters, high power, um, really not there. Very good, very good. So... Uh, now we're going to do the same premise as we did with the two meters. So we're going to go ahead and key this up. Sometimes this takes a second to really settle in. So we're going through it right now. It's doing a uh, little bit of a slow scan, but here we go. And we're looking for that minus 16 as well on all this. It's going through. And I'm sure I, it's a setting I did in this, but um, so there is our fundamental right there, and there's the harmonics really dropped out here. But all of them are still settling in here. Takes one more scan, I'm sure it's scanning up down below. Yep, there we go. So everything is starting to drop into place where it should be. And um, yeah, so there is the seven centimeter band which is close to GRMS. So this is also kind of awesome. I did buy a, uh, a GRMS radio um, as well. So, uh, because I was like, well, this is the ham radio version and the GRMS version. So we're gonna start getting into some more stuff in the next video. This one here, just basic, just to show you, it's clean, ready to go. And um, yeah, the GRMS uh, version and we'll talk about all of those in the next video where we do some stuff to this thing. So stick around in the next video. Like I said, if you're a, a new subscriber or a new viewer, please subscribe. Love to have you in the channel. Comments and uh, let me know your thoughts on the H3. Did you get one? Are you going to get one? Uh, the price is pretty nice. Um, but, uh, oh, I got some phone calls coming in. But the uh, whole point of this is this is a very compact radio, very nice. And then everybody said that uh, it's a good upgrade from the uh, TID Radio H8. So I'm glad I uh, weighed it out. Because even though it has a higher model number, H3 seems to do a little bit more. And it's uh, quite interesting. So stick around for the next video on that. Eric text us. And we'll see you in the next one. Appreciate y'all. 73.